Welcome to the month five update for my Use Less Spoons project. The links in the description include my first Use Less Spoons video, the hybrid calisthenics and Wim Hof method pages, an explanation of spoon theory, and a link to the Poirot puzzle I did this month. For this month in review, we took my 90 year old grandmother to the zoo, she loved it. I also polished my parents' brass door fixtures, which haven't been polished in 31 years since they got them. I used vinegar that time, so I wanna try using an actual polish on them, and you might see my results next month. We also took my grandmother to the Warther Carving Museum in Dover, Ohio. I plan on doing a video about that another time, but I highly recommend going. I did this thousand piece World of Hercule Prolo puzzle and hand drew a new background tile for my website. Doing this project has made me realize that the biggest challenge is my schedule isn't aligned with my body's needs or my day-to-day -day uncertainties, so I'll be making some changes. With that being said, this month on average, 80.2% of goals were completed each week, and my level of fitness time spent was exactly where I wanted it to be. Hybrid calisthenics was a big failure this month. I only improved on two out of the five exercises. That's a big deal because fitness is the highest priority reason for doing this project. So I'll be addressing that with some changes. The first change is that along with the month in review, I'll also be going over content that I created each month so that you have it in one place. I'll also start tracking weekends, which I wasn't doing before. Everything has been Monday to Friday. Another major change is instead of doing time spent percentages, I'll be doing check boxes to say whether or not I did a certain number of tasks that I have picked out each week. The way I go about that will be more clear in my next video. I'll also be eliminating success goals because with the change from time percentage to check boxes, the success goal percentages become extra information since I have no trouble tackling priority tasks each week. Making these changes should help me streamline everything and to focus on the highest priority reasons for doing this project. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next month.